this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross! There's still a few more areas that we can explore here in the manor now that, uh, well, all the dragoons are gone from here, apparently. What does he mean by that? I don't quite... It's, it'll be difficult for poor to attack here, or it'll be difficult to defend from there? I, I don't know what he means, but anyway, uh... Now that we're back here, we can go down this secret passage. We couldn't go down here before. I think we might have been able to check it out, but we couldn't uh, actually go down here. Whoa! What's... Looks like the Epoch from the first game. What's that doing here? Huh. I don't know if they ever so directly explain it, but you can infer it from what we learn later on. No, I don't want to uh, change my name, but, uh, huh. Yeah, a few people were saying that uh, the Beach Bums kind of look like the news from the, the first game there. I like the news better, though. They, they looked cuter in, with, uh, well, the, the drawing that they did there. But, uh, eh, whatever. Okay, well, that's everything we need to do um, over there, so let's head on down to the basement then. All right, well, let's check up on Lucia, then. See what she's up to now that uh, we've taken care of Neofio for her. I was washing dishes in this cage. You know, they don't want me to, uh, you know, get away or anything. It's not like I'm a spy. I wonder if uh, they tell us who he is in the regular new game. I forget. I forget whether we don't find that out until... I thought there was, like, a, one of the bonus endings we really find out. Or maybe... I think maybe they do tell us. Eh, whatever. Sure, why don't you join us? Uh, don't spoil it in the comments section, though, viewers. If you know, just tell me yes or no. Whether it's the New Game Plus ending they explain it or the regular New Game. All right! Oh, ho, 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 ho! Ho, ho, ho. You will be assimilated. All right, we get Lucia in our party. Uh, nothing too special about her, uh, especially with Guile in our party. Um, black elementals, not too useful at this point in the game, really. Let's see, can I get this yet? I think I can. Hey, come on. Maybe I need to leave the room in order to get it. There's a sparkly thing on the desk there. Eh, let me leave the room and try it again. Not that I'm particularly interested in that item. I just want to show you that, yes, we can indeed get it. Da? What? Okay, what language is that? What language is da from? I thought that was like a, a Dutch language or something like that. Uh, I don't know, but I don't know. She sound, I thought maybe that's, uh, it makes me think it's German. I don't know. There we go. We get the silver earring. Uh, I don't really care for the earrings much in this game. I mean, they were useful in uh, Chrono Trigger a little bit, but in this game, like, I tried one of them, and, like, it gave me such a minimal boost to my HP. It was like, why bother? And here we get the parlor key, now that uh, the guard's gone. But we still can't get through there. Well, let's see where we can put the parlor key to use. By the way, viewers, uh, a lot of you were telling me about uh, trying out a churro since, uh, uh, well, we had the churro salesman back at Termina. So, gave me a hankering for some churros, so I figured, you know, I'll give one a try. There's a local Mexican bakery just down the street, so I got an authentic Spanish churro. It was, like, filled with, uh, like, some vanilla filling or something like that. And it was pretty damn good. I liked it. And here we get a Damon Charm. It protects you from anti-black. But yeah, thanks for uh, suggesting that I try a churro. It was pretty good. I liked it. They got a whole bunch of different kinds, apparently, at the bakery. Okay, so I think that's uh, all the items that I can get here. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know what? We got a whole bunch of islands to explore. So I'll just meet you back at Marble, and we'll start exploring a bunch of them. That's one thing that I think is just really overlooked with this game. All of the exploration and the depth of the NPCs and the background to the game and everything. I mean, I don't hear anyone talking about that 
as, you know, one of the strengths of the game. And I, I think that's one of the things I really enjoy about the game. I mean, maybe it's, you know, maybe I'm just old fashioned, you know, I mean, back in the day, you know, that's our, what RPGs were. I mean, exploration and combat, and that was it. I mean, you know, these imaginary worlds to explore and everything. And I mean, I just really enjoy that about RPGs. They don't do that enough nowadays. Well, let's talk to some of the people here, even though uh, most of them don't like us. Well, what makes you say that? So, up until 14 years ago, we were okay? Oh, oh okay, yeah. That, that doesn't sound good at all. The pearly gates, huh? Where are those? Or where is that? Oh, okay, yeah. I'm sure they're all dead now. Oh, okay, sorry. Can I rest up here? No, no, I can't. Well, the reason why I'm uh, doing so many Guile episodes consecutively for right now is because, uh, well, I don't want to do all this exploration um, on Nikki's path. And, uh, well, I just want Guile to, Guile's path to uh, get ahead here because uh, whatever I need to do on Nikki's path there won't take very long. I'll be honest with you, viewers. So, and besides, I love doing this little bit of exploration even though all these people don't seem to like me. Stay away from me! Stay away from the summoner! Yeah, I'll never get tired of that clip. Stay away from the summoner! Well, that guy doesn't seem to like us very much at all. How do they build these houses into, I don't know, mountains or rocks or whatever they're doing? I mean, I guess that's kind of nice and everything, but, uh, yeah, let's talk to this guy. Oh, huh. remember his portrait for later in the game, viewers, so you can recognize him. Hmm, sure, why not? Let's get some more information about this place. The Sea of Eden, huh? Well, it was on the checklist there. Oh, okay. Instant death, huh? Well, I'm kind of dead to begin with, so... Wasn't that that place where uh, Lynx was saying the uh, frozen flame was? Huh. Oh, the dragon sealed the flame in there, or something like that. Time is reversed there, whoa. That doesn't sound like a good place to go at all. What about the black dragon? Oh, okay, well maybe we could pay him a visit. So he's been asleep for years, huh? Okay. Well, maybe we can uh, wake him up. I mean, everyone else here doesn't seem to like us very much. Maybe the Black Dragon doesn't like us either. Get our first look at one of the dragons, too. Well, what's with this, uh... I don't know how to describe this music. It's kind of nice, though. Oh, that's the, uh, Black Dragon. Pretty big cave you got here. Hey, wake up, buddy. How's it going? Okay, he doesn't want to talk to us. Let's get out of here. Okay, so that's everything we can do in marble there. Um, uh, yeah, let's check out the El Nido Triangle, and I think we'll call it a day there, and we'll explore more of the islands next time. Oh, okay, there isn't anything here. Huh. Doesn't seem like such a dangerous place at all. Hmm. Well, there we go. Let's see. We got some treasure we can get at the Water Dragon Isle. Um, hey, I'll get started on that. I'll get as far as I can. I think some people at Goldove were saying that this place has dried up, though, or something like that. Nice thing about the Water Dragon Isle is that there's uh, quite a bit of iron that we can pick up here, so that'll be pretty good for uh, forging some new stuff. Ah, well that's no good. Let's check out this place. The enemies here are a little tough, but uh, nothing we can't handle. So let's see, is this one of the pieces of iron? Yes it is, okay. Well, let's see if uh, we can find more iron and 
see if maybe some of the fairies can uh, tell us more about this place next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.